Hi, I'm Simon, and this is the first in what I hope is going to become a series of videos called How Far on One Life. I'm going to be taking some of my favourite arcade and console games and just with one life seeing how far I can go in that game. And it's my hope that this gives me enough time to chat about why I'd like the games without going on for too long. Also, if you haven't played the games before, you haven't seen them before, it gives you an opportunity to get a, a taster or an idea of what that game is like. So this first game I've chosen today is one that celebrated its 25 year anniversary this year. It's IRM's 1987 classic shoot 'em up R-Type. And I'm gonna be playing the arcade version emulated through MAME. I'm gonna be using MAME OS X and I'm going to be playing on a little joypad that I picked up here in China, a Nazar something or other G44. I don't really know what it is. It's a kind of knockoff PlayStation 2 controller, but it's pretty good. So let's see how far I can go. Now, there were two reasons for me choosing this game as the first in this series. Primarily because I love it so much. I mean, I've been a fan of this game since the late 80s, since about 88 when I first played it on home systems. In fact, it was the Spectrum version on my friend's machine where I was first introduced to this game. Or at least I say introduced to it. I'd heard of the game. It was already famous through a lot of the magazines hyping it up as the greatest shooter of all time. But it was, yeah, it was that first Spectrum version that I played and fell in love with it and then later had it on the Amiga and, and other systems as well but there's just something about it that I can keep coming back to it's the it's the I guess the the design of the the levels the the enemies in it and I guess another reason why I picked it for the first in this series is I can actually get relatively far in it compared to a lot of other shoot 'em ups. It's it's pretty good value for money when you think about it. One credit on this game can last for a fairly long time. I mean, it's features like this, this spinning wheel thing that I've just destroyed. That when I first played this game, I was shocked that there was nothing like it that I'd seen in games before. The power-ups, although obviously in, in shooter ups before this there were power-ups, but this is the first game that I can recall where you had this protective orb floating in front of you that you can detach and reattach at will. I mean, it's, it's amazing how after all this time I still enjoy playing this first level. As simplistic as it is, I still get enjoyment from it and uh, take pleasure in seeing this boss. The only downside to it is a really nice design, but it's so easy to defeat. And that's, that's it. And one of the other things I thought was a little bit strange about this is why does it bother telling you what your stage score is because whatever your score is at this point in the game that's going to be the same as your stage score but anyway i guess just setting it up for things as they come at the end of all the other levels but, uh, I, mean, I think one of the things that for me that set our type apart from other games was that it had really original level design. I mean, they're quite different as you move from level to level. I mean, this is very organic and the first level's very industrial and mechanical. Uh, it's a power-up that you get on this level, but I'm going to avoid it for now because I find this deflective or reflective blue laser a lot more useful. Okay. 
Okay, we're coming up to the end of level boss. And one of the things I always remember thinking when I first played this game is why didn't the Baido Empire create all of their ships out of the same thing they made that snake out of? I mean, it's as part, it's, it's indestructible. It's another favourite part, of, quite simplistic part of the game, but I always remember enjoying fighting this giant pulsating heart with an eye. Whoever came up with these designs <laughs> had a pretty good imagination. Again, a relatively easy boss to defeat. It's this third level that's my favourite in the game. Although I say it's my favourite in the game, I've never got further than level 5, so I don't know, there might be a better one, but I really like it. Now, it's at this point this yellow crawling laser beam thing actually becomes very useful. Signals an extra life, but I won't be using it because uh, <laughs> that's not part of the challenge. I think this this level, this spaceship, is one of my favourite levels in any shooter because I don't know whether it had been done before that the level is really the end of level boss. Admit this is the part where it gets a little bit tricky for me. Uh, I think I'm going to be okay from here on in. That power up might be better. Okay. That's not too difficult. One of the things I forgot to mention that I really like about this game is the music. A lot of the tunes in this have stayed with me over the years and they, you know, they evoke quite strong memories of playing the games. For me, this is where the game starts getting tricky. These horrible orange or red robot things that come leaving these nasty trails of green things behind them. <laughs> I actually fear these things coming out. Oh, there we go. Alright, that's good. I've actually got two. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh! Should have stuck that thing on the front, shouldn't I? Oh well. So there you go. That's how far I can get on one life. And it's rare that I ever get further than that on one life. So, let me just trash the ships. Because there's one last thing about this game that I like that you didn't see on other games at the time and that is, well, not just a breakdown of your scores of the different stages, but 
it lets you put in more than three characters. So there we go. So not bad. Fourth place. Should really have done a little bit better than that, but hey, never mind. There we go. Our type 25 years old, but still a fantastic game. So that's about as far as I can get on our type with one life. Occasionally I get to the middle of level four, but it gets really difficult after there. And once that first life is lost in this game, it's, well, it's not impossible, but it becomes 10 times more difficult. Now, let me know what you think about this series. Is this something that you would enjoy watching more of? I mean, I've got some ideas about the types of games that I, I want to show you for the next few episodes if you're interested in seeing it. So I'd love to read your comments and hear what you have to say. Also, let me know what you think about our type. Do you like it as much as I do or do you think it's massively overrated? Well, thanks for watching. From my spare room to wherever you are, this is Simon. Signing off. Bye-bye.